card tournament. It's going to be great. We're going to be doing some great scenes. They're going to have four minutes for each scene. Uh, you're going to give them their suggestions. They will ask you for the suggestions and I will provide it to them. Uh, four minutes for each scene. We have our first suggestion right here. So come on stage. Now, this is a suggestion provided to us by the Canadian Pro Games, mailed in all the way from Ottawa? I'm not sure, open. maybe. And let's take a look. All right. Oh, there's like things to read here. Probably should have read that beforehand. Okay. Is there another envelope? Oh, yes. Okay. Now, here it is. I will just take a quick glance at this and make sure we're in compliance. We must try to learn from the camera angle. Okay. Okay. Everyone's on the team? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And, we, and the sound is working, yes? Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Confidence. Okay. It's rolling That's, now, it's good? And, okay. Okay. Uh, do we, okay. How, do you know what quality we're filming in? Really good quality. Really good. That's good. Okay. And da da da. Okay. Let's get the camera show information. Okay. We maybe cut this part out of the, the official report. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best little eye. This is the best little eye. It's riveting. Uh -oh. Call it one minute, 30 seconds. And then, uh, yeah, okay, perfect. And Canadian Improv Games, thank you very much. Okay, so, so we're going to be doing our theme event. Give it them a round of applause, get them ready for the theme event. <laughs> All right, get ready to receive your theme in this envelope here. Okay, open on camera, theme inside. Ooh. All right, okay, getting the light. Is it rolled? Oh, it's in like a little, tiny Aww. little. Okay. You have received the theme. Oh, sorry. Let me oh my let me make sure the timer is ready. You're a bad person. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, you have received the theme of beauty. Oh, beauty. beauty. So with all the like vanity mirror. Yeah, yeah. 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 doing their scene on beauty, beautiful life, beautiful world, and we're gonna see this Bernie Mountain scene on beauty in five, four, three, two, one. I have to prepare for the pageant. I've been preparing. I've been preparing for eight years. I've been preparing my whole life. I was I'm, preparing in the womb. I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> Sit among in the grass or a group of beautiful lionesses. Oh, oh yes. My um, vein, feel it with the berry conditioner I used last oh, evening. Oh, 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 Rochelle, I can feel it in your body, the way you walk, the way you move. I also eat cranberries every evening after dinner. It helps my hair. In the 60s, there was a hair salon that was in charge of taking care of your beauty. I just wanted to be a bit bigger. All right, so sweetie, we're gonna give you volume. We're gonna give you volume. We're gonna give you volume, volume, volume. You know, we have to get you ready for your prom because if you don't have the perfect hair, you won't get Chattery to date you. I need Chattery to date me. If he doesn't date me, then why am I even going to high school? Cut to the prom. Chattery? Yeah. Can we have a dance? Oh, I'm not sure that would be okay. Wow. You know, you're like cute, but now I've learned that you're also cute on the inside. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Of course. Mr. Bew. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so sorry to say, but on my trip to the office, I lost all the tea. Oh, goodness, our tea. Oh, Mr. Bew, all I can say is that I'm very, very sorry, but I want you to know that I really do care. I need this job. If I lose this job, I won't be able to provide for my six very hungry children at home. That's so beautiful. Do you know what? You making that mistake? Yeah. I'm giving you a promotion because we need honest, hardworking, and good people. Thank you, Mr. Bew! I mean, you're a good person and all, but I feel like in terms of facial structure, I'm like here and sadly you're kind of down here. Oh, that makes me feel kind of insecure about myself. You know, I was kind of confident with my bone structure. I mean, high no. cheekbones, slayed jawline. No. Michelle and Dominique sit in front of their computer preparing to play the brand new fairy princess game. Whew. 
I love playing fairy princesses online. Did you get the new DLC? Yeah, I did, and I got the new dresses. Oh, the new dresses? Did you see the purple one? Oh my goodness, oh my it's to God. die for. And it gives you so many good bonuses. I know, once you unlock level 73, you get all the dresses in the wow. entire game. When I was a kid, I think my favorite movie was Beauty and the Beast. It's just because it talks about so many issues about, you know, loving yourself without having to deal with inanimate objects and really seeing the inner beauty <laughs> within people that really spoke to me in a way that nothing else really has before in my life. One minute! At the regal ball in the center of the kingdom, the princess was dancing her very, very special dance. I call this one the sway to side. Look at her go, <laughs> such grace. Her, even her movements are so glorious. Oh, darling, there is not a princess more that I would love to pass the kingdom on to. You are pristine and elegant in every morsel. Even her eyes sing with the song. 30 seconds. On an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, a pirate ship had just docked. Arr, I, I, you see on this treasure map we are looking for the booty. Ah, uh, that's some fine. <laughs> yes, the, the chest full of all the treasures. Ah, I love treasures. Oh my god, it's perfect. I'm ready for the pageant. Oh. <laughs> so am I. I'm looking good. <sighs> First runner up, no more. And <laughs> Lovely. Okay, next up we'll have a life event, and the life event teams need to... Oh, I don't remember the, the thing they say. Anyway, you pitch it. Hello, I am Max from Burnaby Mountain, and for our life event we would like something you worry about, such as your grades or your looks. Okay, shout out some suggestions. Things you worry about. Your bank account. Okay, perfect. You have received the suggestion of your parents. Your oh, parents. parents. Oh, well, Oh yeah, I wasn't yeah. And we'll see this live scene about parents worrying about parents from Burnaby Mountain. Burnaby Mountain parent scene in five, four, three, two, one. I'm going on a camping trip uh, with my improv team. It's really exciting, you know, we never really had an opportunity for all eight of us to get away from all the craziness of life and to really have some time to bond and I'm really, really excited. Okay, I think Gabe, Jeehee, and I are gonna go fish. Oh, right? yeah. 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 Okay. I love fishing, man. Love we'll see you guys soon. Can you okay. go just just grab some water? Try not to hurt the water. Yeah. Okay, we'll just stick it water. here. We can um, work on the fire. We, yeah, we can work on the fire. Sure, okay. sure. Uh, <sighs> okay, okay. I mean, I'm not really sure how to do this, but I'm sure if we just start, we'll figure it out on the way. Yeah, way. I've never really worked on a fire before, but... Me neither, but I mean, we have this kindling. Yeah. And I know that's a valuable part of the equation. Yes, so. yes. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how excited I am that I that I, I got know. to come with you guys. I thought you weren't even going to come at all, and then when you texted the group chat and said you were coming, I was really excited. I know, I, I wasn't going to, but but I, I really, really talked to my mom, and she, I think I convinced her. Yeah, I mean, you're here. You know, I want to be a good fisherman like my dad was. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, once he said that he caught a salmon that was 20 feet tall. What? I don't think that's possible, man. Oh, it is. You, you should have sure seen the pictures. Are you sure your parents are telling you the truth? I hope they are. <laughs> I mean, I don't even really understand why you weren't allowed to come. I mean, it's going to be safe. You're with all of us. I know, but, you know, my mom always says, you know, like, if I'm not there, how am I going to know that you're going to be safe? And she just, I don't know, I feel like she babies me all the time. Well, honestly, I think it's kind of time that you stand up to her. But did you even have to ask your parents? No, I mean, I texted them when I, we were almost here, and they were just good with that. Ugh, you know, I, I wish that I had what you had, you know? You know, Krista, I've never really been the type of camping person, but having no service and not receiving any text from my mom is like the most relieving feeling I've ever had. <laughs> oh my goodness, me too. I mean, I hate the text, like, are you okay? Like, are you fine? Like, obviously I am. I'm on a camping trip with my friends. What could go wrong? Exactly. Yeah. It's just, you know, it seems like you don't even have to ask when we go places or, you know, you have, you have a job and you get to go out and do whatever you want, whenever you want. And I just... I feel like I'm being held back. But you know they're just doing it because they love me. I mean, they care.
care about you and they just want to make sure that you're safe and I do think that you should talk to them and just kind of explain to them that you're your own person and if you want to really gain confidence you have to kind of be let go a little bit well I mean well how do you do it <clears throat> I don't know I mean I feel like all parents are kind of different and it's just how the relationship is with their kid it's gonna be different for one everybody, minute but we, we can just figure it out and I think you just have to talk to them and be open with them about how you're feeling. You know, I think that that's really smart. You know, I, I think it would be really good if I could talk to her and figure out, you know, why I'm not allowed to go out all the time. And yeah, because maybe there's some reasons that you don't even know about. Yeah. I wonder when they're coming back. Uh, so, the fish isn't as big as the one my dad caught. Is that but the mother fish, though? Was, was it going to have babies? <laughs> I mean, I We've tried to release the ones that were happy. 30 yeah. seconds? Okay. We bring the wood for the fire. Oh, oh thank you thanks. so much. Oh, it's getting so cold. <laughs> On this camping trip, I learned that um, if you have a problem with someone else, um, sitting down with one of your closest friends or someone that's close to you and having the opportunity to flesh it out and talk about everything that's going on and having an alternate perspective is a lesson that uh, will provide lessons for years on. Next up, we'll be doing a character event. In the character event, they must portray a character trait and explore it and have a good time doing it. Let's get a pitch going on. Oh, wait, oh, wait, sorry. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm Kate Glenna from Burning Mountain, and we're going to be doing a character event, like Alex just said. And from you, we need a character trait such as envious or excited. Can we get a character trait, please? Vicious. Vicious. Unpredictable. I, I like, uh, I like, okay, I got one. Burning Mountain, you'll be doing a scene with the character trait of Vicious. Oh, vicious. vicious. And we're going to see his character oh, scene, so character so Burning Mountain vicious. with the character trait of Vicious. Vicious like a dog. All right. And this character scene in five, four, three, two, one. I'm Vicious Vicky and the world is mine! I'm the meanest girl around. I catch fish with my bare hands. My favorite print is cheetah. I'm a horrible babysitter. My only shoes are snakeskin. My favorite show is Indiana Jones. I'm Vicious Vicky and the world is mine! Ah! Oh, how could I forget when I went to school for the first time? Hello, class. Everybody sit down quietly and in order. I'm not a fan of sitting down. How about we prop the chairs up on the desks? Gone with the windows! Rip off the roof! Oh, well, you're certainly high-spirited, and I appreciate your enthusiasm, but we need Re to learn how school works. Regenerating, rejuvenating, reciprocating, the three R's are words that I live by! All right, all right. How could I forget when my dad tried to teach me to fish? Dad? Yes? Yes, Vicky? Well, I mean, you told me I was going to learn how to fish today. Yes, yes, you are. You know, I have a feeling this is going to take a little bit too long, so I think I'm just going to have to Whoa. go dive in and catch it myself. Oh, well, how I'm could I forget when I went to the Regal Ball for the first time? With me! Uh, oh, Chad, I'm so excited that we finally got the opportunity to dance! Yes, I mean, I thought this was going to be more of a waltz, but I guess we can attempt the tango. Oh, the tango. It embodies both the physicality of the Spaniards, but also fierce women. Hey, okay, but you're going to have to take the lead. Uh, I'll take the lead. You'll be my man tonight, Chad! Oh. So, my friend Vicky, I feel like she's a, overall a nice person, but sometimes she's just filled with anger, and this girl just runs into my classroom screaming at me. We need to redecorate. We need to redecorate. I'm like, girl, tone it down. And I always thought that my child would grow out of this and it was just going to be a phase, but turns out it wasn't. How could I forget the many months that I was in the Amazon? <sighs> I feel one with the vines. I'm very glad you feel that way, but we are very lost. Uh, lost! Lust is a word that I associate with not yet finding where you need to be. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. You know, how about we just rip through the bushes, root through the rutabagas, and find our way out? There was this one time I babysitted this kid named Timmy. I hate my life. It's so mean. Oh no, Vicky. It's me, your babysitter, Vicky. Oh, Vicky. What are those 
fairy things around your head. Those are just my goldfish. Oh, I see. Hmm, they look very evil to me. You know what? I'm going to make you eat broccoli because... Oh, how can I forget that one time he was a food credit at my restaurant? So how did you like the spaghetti? One minute. What is this? It's spaghetti. I cooked it myself with my own two pretty little hands. You know, <laughs> coming here, I thought it would be bad. And I go to a lot of bad restaurants. Mm -hmm. But this is just so good in such a way I don't understand. I'm just so passionate about your cooking. And, and just your tone lets me know that. Those the many months that I was in the wrestling ring. <sighs> and in the left corner, we have the vicious Vicky. 30 seconds. Fighting her tonight is... Feeble Frederick! Oh, I'm gonna rip you into so many pieces, you're gonna be Feeble Frederick in 18 pieces! I'm Vicious Vicky and I know what I want and I want it now! Alright, and closing out the night with their last scene, they will be doing a story event? Story event! Story event. And for the story event, uh, they will be creating a story, and you'll love it, I'm sure. Okay, go for it. Hi, I'm Liam from Burning Mountain, and we're going to be doing our story event from you. We would like a non-geographical location, such as a dance store or a ballet arena. <laughs> lots, of, lots of very dancey tonight. Okay, can we get some non-geographical locations, please? Desert. A pyramid. A, sewer. a, a desert. Okay, and you have received the non-geographical location of a sewer. A oh, sewer! And for now we will be seeing this sewer scene. Sewer burning out and they'll be sewering around in the sewer for their story event. Story event burning mountain sewer scene. Sewer scene in five, four, three, two, one. In the most dingy southern sewer, the floors were riddled with the dirtiest water you ever did the, see. The smell of sewage ran through the air. Green goop goop. From the roof. Little mice pitter pattered around the sewer. Some say it was mustier than the bayou. There were a bunch of bugs <laughs> crawling all around. It was a little bit difficult to see because of all this goop. Missy was in the sewer today. She was so cool. <laughs> she wore big old boot high boots and a big old hat high hat. These hat and these boots and her entire outfit just blended in with her surroundings. Missy was G-R-O-S-A-S. And with her today was her husband, Rick. Rick was eating grocers and sushi, and he just wore the biggest hatty hatty hat and the biggest booty 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 boot. <sighs> Rick, you look as grimy as the day I first laid my eyes on you. Oh, Missy, I know you knew it was me. Cause of my smell. Oh, and I love it. <laughs> they have been living in the sewer for the past 15 years. <sighs> oh, Missy, you know I remember when I met you. I could tell that I fell in love with you by the knots in your hair. And my eyes were watering partly because of the stench and partly because of how much I loved you. Oh, <laughs> Missy, the way you pluck at my heart strings. Oh. Oh, oh. Today was their favorite day in the sewer, because it was clean-out day, where they unplugged the drains and unplugged the holes connecting their hearts. Oh, that gross grime just makes me love you even more. Oh, we've been saving up all this grime for months and months and months. I know, looking forward to cleaning it out on our 10-year anniversary. Oh, baby, I think, you know, we gotta pull the plug. Pulling the plug in the right way will let all the dirt and grime out, but it'll keep the smell. Hey, hey. The sewer that they lived in was the only one in this whole city. And if they didn't drain this place, this entire city would be stinky. Think about it. Dirt and grime from all the citizens of this grunge city. Oh, the things they put down those gutters. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, every day when those banana peels come, Oh, God, they get me going. Yes, I say we get started, old Ricky. Oh, yes. So it's simple. We just got to pull the plug, but at an angle so that it, the, only the dirt and grime goes through. None of the stinky water. Okay, so let's start. They started, and they 
picked out their trajectory and they just oh. gave it a yank. Oh, Rick, I'm so lost in the beauty of your eyeballs oh, right now. Oh, me too, Misty. Let's, what, just, uh, let's just pull it whatever you know. Oh. Ah. Oh. Now, Misty, all the water, all the gunk, it's all flowing right into the city. The fresh air, it's disgusting. Oh, dear, if all this water, all this dirt gets into the city, every citizen will get sick. Our reputation of owning the sewer for these many years are ruined. And so they came in close to each other out of fear for the smell, and they realized oh, that they rubbing themselves together made a mist, made a gunk, oh, made Missy, an ooze Missy, that was sweat. so uh, ugly and smelly that oh. it just radiated through and brought back all the smell to their sewer. Oh. Dirtier than ever and I couldn't be more happy. Oh, listen, the flow is going perfectly. The city will, the city is saying, our reputation, our love. And I love you more than ever. Yes, Miss Jane. Yes, Ray. Yes, oh. All right, that was pretty sweet. Uh, they, that was a lot of scenes all at once. So thank you all very much for coming out. Uh, it was a pleasure being here. And hopefully next up, Ottawa, baby. Woo